Okay, this is a quick video about backcountry flying into the Saline Valley and then the Ibex hard pan. Uh, Saline Valley is in California. It's a valley just west of Death Valley. Uh, this is a view looking to the north. Uh, just up there, that white spot is an area that is a set of hot springs. Uh, Saline Valley Warm Springs is what it's called. It's a little oasis. Uh, really a, just a beautiful set of palm trees, springs, lots of water flow. Uh, it's a long washboarded road coming in from the north and a longer washboarded road coming in from the south. We're uh, talking about two hours, three hours, four hours of washboards to get into this particular valley. Uh, it used to be owned by the BLM, now it's managed by the well, National Park Service. And this is uh, the chicken strip. Uh, chicken strip's a, or airstrip, basically a very short uphill uh, runway. No go round, so uh, once you commit to final, you can pull off at the very, you know, while you are still got energy, but once you uh, start to touch down, you're, you really pretty much have to stay with uh, your plan. Uh, again, it goes uphill, there's uh, loose gravel. Uh, you'll hear the stall horn going off a little bit before touch down here, and I touch down really early. And then uh, once you're on the strip, you're going uphill, so you're losing energy, but you want to keep your speed up so you don't touch brakes. You've got to dodge a few little uh, uh, rills in the, in the runway. And then carry as much energy as you can up to the top. That way you don't have to add RP prop power uh, and spit rocks back into your tail. So if you can keep just enough energy to get to the top without adding power, that's the best way to go. And uh, then there's a nice little parking spot. We've got a little sign telling you that you have arrived at the chicken strip. And then you can see just here off the right, uh, there'll be uh, some tie downs, nice little tie down. Uh, there's not enough traffic there to warrant too many tie downs, so one, two planes can get up there at the top and be just fine. Elevation 1360, and it's about the same length of the runway. Uh, the register there at the chicken strip is uh, for pilots to basically identify that they're using it. Like I said, it's now part of Death Valley National Park, so uh, good for the Park Service to know that backcountry pilots are using it. Uh, Yeah, the, there's a lot of burrows uh, from the borax mining days. They kind of are surrounding the oasis. Uh, I, you can see a nice little hot pool here. Just perfect temperature. I don't think you could get much better. Uh, it is clothing optional, so expect to see lots of naked people around. Uh, really cool vibe there. Uh, there's a library. There's a aluminum can recycling. A uh, nice little camp circle for people who are camping there. Uh, the folks who, who use this facility or use this uh, oasis have been using it for years. Uh, anybody who goes there falls in love with it, takes care of it like it's their own. Uh, there's lots of artwork uh, that's just a part of, again, the vibe of where this, uh, this hot spring came from. There you can see a grinding stone. Uh, as well as more modern totem uh, with art, but the grinding stone was from early Indian use. Uh, there's a bath and shower pool here for uh, washing up before you go into the other hot springs. This pool is called Sunrise Pool. It uh, obviously has a nice view to the east, and it's in the area where the uh, main um, springs source are. And this is the uh, pool for. Uh, bathing basically before you go into the main pools and this is the source uh, springs look looking down at the source you can almost it just looks like it goes in, in on to forever uh, this is the doggy pool it's a cool spring and uh, just and one of the things that really is characteristic of this place is the art the I, I call it hippie culture but uh, the bathrooms are just immaculate and all of them have uh, really cool artwork uh, in there. One of the things that also is a part of this is the fact that uh, there are uh, F-18s. There's a lot of military training. The day we flew in, there were 15 F-18s 
uh, in Saline Valley military operations area, so you do need to be aware of uh, that traffic. You can call ahead of time, find out who's there. But uh, they do fly low, and it's right off the end of the runway. The airstrip look, goes downhill, so there's a distinct downhill. Uh, from the tie down, you can look over across the valley. You can see the volcano. You can see the oasis there with the hot springs. And right there on top of the vol volcano uh, is a peace sign, uh, basically a cool message from the hippies to the jet jocks. TPH, Ely, ELY, what a shock. If you want to open your door to, or not the door, but the window to ventilate, it's a wee bit warm. True. Temperature outside, according to this, is uh, 100. Of course, that's reading what's on the wing, but that still ain't, ain't 40 degrees, 42 degrees C. TPH, total beam down hill, and we'll be departing, heading to Tonopah, Nevada. Any traffic, particularly F 18s, please be advised that I will be taking off and uh, occupying the airspace with you. Dodge those two little divots. Add our 20 degrees of flap. And we are in the air. Gee, it seems a little uh, less hot now. Yeah. Well, I had the window open. That helps. Right. And there's our hot pool. Okay, now off to the Ibex hard pan. Uh, landing on a dry lake bed in, uh, in this case, it's Utah. Uh, actually, this is where we began our trip, uh, heading out from uh, Idaho Falls to uh, Utah and on into Las Vegas uh, for a conference. Uh, Ibex hard pans basically near a severe lake which is uh, south of Salt Lake City uh, and this lake bed is uh, just beautiful, just perfectly smooth and this the landing, I don't think I've ever had a smoother uh, surface to land on. Uh, again you'll hear the stall horn here. nice things about this strip is uh, you can pretty much land in any direction once you know the wind you just point into it and uh, any any runway is uh, your choice uh, there's rock climbing in a couple different areas there's a little island uh, we climbed up on the little island in the lake bed Yeah, it's a cool place, uh, just uh, great for recreation. Uh, Utah Backcountry Pilots Association has a fly-in here. Uh, this is me uh, in front of the plane, kind of parked by the island. You can see the surface is just baby butt smooth. And then Kevin Young, uh, he's a guy I went uh, to Las Vegas with, cool, cool fellow, we, uh, saxophone player, electrical engineer, great guy. And of course, Tony the Tarantula, welcoming committee there at the Ibex Hard Pan. Actually, this guy was uh, completely desiccated, absolutely uh, just a rigid, crusty little guy, uh, no longer alive, obviously a little late in the season for uh, tarantulas to be hanging out. Here you can see just a panorama of the, the hard pan. There's a lot of lake beds, most of, a lot of them in restricted areas, uh, but this one, it's open to the public, so enjoy.